Hey, boy, that one ain't me anyway. Beware, lest any man spoil you from philosophy and faith and deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. So get away from philosophy. Go from three to eight. I did like that, boy. I can preach on that one right now. Three and eight says, but now you also put off these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Hello. Cussing. But guess what? That don't just mean four letter words, people. Filthy communication just don't mean four letter words. Filthy communication is me looking at my little daughter and telling her, you're never going to be nothing. That's filthy communication. Evil speak, corrupt communication, because I'm destroying her esteem. I didn't say one four-letter word. You're never going to be nothing. They used to tell us when I was growing up, you're only going to be a trash man. So you don't inspire to nothing else. Don't think of it again. Don't, 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 don't be nothing in life. Filthy communication. Amen? Amen. Boy, I can go on that one. Let's go to James real quick. We'll give a couple of clues. James 1. James 1, look at verse 19. James 1, 19. Wherefore, my beloved brother, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. And if you're in this place, you got to obey these folk around here. So just listen. Don't get angry. People leave it here because they think they got rights. No, obey the rules because your right will lead you out the door. Or they kick me out. No, nobody put you out. You put yourself out. Be swift to listen, slow to speak, and slow to end. Amen. Amen. Why can't I come in here, Rob? Right? Because you left last week because you didn't sit here and listen to the gospel. Because you snuck out and got hot. Because you didn't pass the PP test. So you got to go because you're going to poison the rest. Is it the first of the month? Hello? First of, this is the first of the month. And why it's kind of in the church. Hey, man. <laughs> I can't forget about that. And I used to do that too. First of the month, I ain't going to church. Hey, man. Hey. Go to Titus. A couple books back. Titus 1. And we get ready to come. We got three more, four more men. So let's cover this. Because I do want to get to the last five of Scripture. Titus. Because I need you to see Jesus in this. <clears throat> Y'all get anything out of this? Yes. You know I got to always ask that. Yes. Titus 1 verse 7 says what? For a bishop must be blameless. Now I'm going to talk about leadership a little bit. I know I'm going to get off y'all now talking about people who are in leadership, right? For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, not a striker, not given to filthy lucre. Let me break that stuff down for you. He must have self-control all the time. And the reason why it says not soon to be angry, he must control himself, right? Amen. Secondly, he must not be given to getting high, not soon to drink a lot of wine. You know, we know a lot of church folk drink and get drunk and they think it's okay. But well, the excuse is Jesus drank wine, well, that was great Jesus. Amen? Not a striker, always ready to fight. You know, he had knocked your block while fitting you in. Okay? Now, you know what filthy lucre is in the Bible? That's the old King James word, giving too much money. Always begging for money. Always wanting money. Bless me, and I'll give you it with your name. Filthy Luther. That's what old King James word for filthy money. Always begging for money. Read your Bible. Amen? Let's go to Matthew 2, 5. And we can wake up. Two more verses. Matthew 5. I shouldn't have got political, but I'm sorry. That's just how I feel tonight. You know? If it wants to come out of me and the Holy Spirit says it's okay, well, it's okay. I try to pay attention to my flesh versus the Spirit of God. Uh, look at um, 5, starting at verse 22. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause, here we go, we're oh, see. He that is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Rekha, that means lack of intelligence, amen, Rekha shall be in danger of counsel. But whosoever shall say, thou fool, but let me back that back up. Rekha is the intent of your heart, sorry. But if you say unto him, thou fool, you're talking about the intelligence. Why is that? Thou fool, thou shall be in danger of hellfire. 
If you say Rekha, I'm saying you're stupid. And if I say you're fool, you have no intelligence. And the only one who knows the intent of your heart is God. The only one who knows your intelligence fully is God. You're not supposed to tell nobody they are fool. You're not supposed to judge nobody by the intent of their heart. Because I have, you've seen some people, you think they're the nastiest people you ever want to see. And as soon as you think of them, they're the sweetest person you ever want to see. Amen? Amen. I got a guy on the job. He's disabled. He out typewrites everybody with a pencil in his mouth. But they thought he couldn't do the job. Because he has muscular dystrophy and he'd be shaking. And he typed and do more work than most managers with a pencil in his mouth. But they prejudged him. Right? Amen. Don't do that. And here's the final scripture, 1 John. And I'm going to tell you why you better not do it. Last scripture, 1 John 3, 15. Then we pray. I made it, Ron. <laughs> 1 John 3, 15. Now, here's the part that scared me. Ready? Y'all ready for this? 3, 15 says this. Whosoever hates his brother is a murderer. Whosoever hates his brother is a murderer. I thought you had to kill somebody to be a murderer.
what we needed to see in you. So love us, Lord God. Remove any hatred in our hearts in this room. Humble me, Father. Start with the man servant. Let it really hit me, Lord God, that I be able to go and do what I need to do to reconcile myself one to another. In the mighty name of Jesus. So if anyone in this room hates me, I love you. And forgive me for any offense, as I also forgive you. Because I do love you. And I thank you, Lord, for the love of this one. In Jesus' name, let the house say amen. amen. amen.